Hello and happy Motivational Monday to my Libras. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with your general reading. The energy has already been cleared. Libras, let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say. Let us see. Let us see. Let us see what your cards have to say. Let us see. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. All right. Libras, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's do it. All right, protect your energy during this this uh, this phase. Um, here we have the Devil card, the Star card. We also have the Seven of Wands. Here we have the Strength card. Here we have the Six of Wands, and also the King of Swords, the Devil card. Mm -mm. Leading with the Devil card, right? So the Devil card knows exactly how to sort, how to tempt us, right? How to tempt us, right? And so you definitely got to be strong. Be strong, be strong, be strong. So source, you know, just like in the, the book of Job, right? And I'm not, this is not about a religious lesson or anything like that. But just like for those of you for a point of reference who, who read the Bible, who has some, you know, working knowledge of the stories in the Bible. The source is saying, you know, your, your, as your star starts to shine bright, <clears throat> Libra, and I'm talking to you if you have Libra anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, but anywhere in your birth chart. As your star starts to shine bright, sort, I mean, the um, source allows, that's why I always tell people to, we got the six and seven of wands here, right? So now that you're back in the saddle, right, your star is shining bright, somebody could be ready to date, somebody could be ready to, um, could really be ready to, um, you know, to look for new jobs. Because kind of like, like, like back there, like you're at a higher frequency, you're moving on from something, right? Because usually it's the person sitting on the horse, ready to go somewhere or on a stage. You're just at an elevated level, right? Meaning uh, in terms of your, your ideas, right? Um, and you're also on your throne of your thinking, right? So the enemy knows just how to tempt you, but source allowed the test, right? Source allowed the test to see if you were going to not only increase your prayer life, but also increase your meditation life, right? So before you demonize somebody, recognize that source is all good because it's all God. Like source allowed something to happen to see if you knew exactly what your demons were. So your demons could have been like we see also on the Sunday uh, reading that went up probably on Saturday. Um, the, I believe it's Saturday, I believe it's the 27th, right? Uh, went up on Saturday you saw how judgment, the judgment card came out and how you feel about how people judge you versus how you may come across as being judgmental yourself, right? That could be a demon for someone. And that's what source, that's what source allows us. So when I talk about prayer and meditation, they need to go hand in hand because you're set acid, praying for something. You said, okay, source, I really want this. I really want that. I really want to date again. I really want opportunities to make money. I really want opportunities to grow my business contacts. I really want opportunities to come my way. But meditation is just as powerful because you need to hear from source, right? And so the moment somebody feels judged, looking at the card like harshly judged by enemy, but you could go right into judgment, judge, you know, judging people yourselves instead of recognizing what's in the details, the devil being in the details. So something was definitely, um, something was definitely exposed. And so I definitely see somebody now being encouraged to meditate you know, from your throne and not have anything negative to say about anybody, but also deciding, okay, you need to possibly move on, you know, from like not stepping down off of your throne, not opening that thought, opening that door to negative thinking, right? This is the king of swords here. Someone who is very wise and someone who is very, um, someone who is very wise and someone who is very, um, knowledgeable about things. A spell that was put on you has definitely been broken. Some kind of spell that has been put on you has been broken, and um, like it would be like a, a like a person judging you harshly, judging you over and over and over again. And when I tell people that love trumps all, like coming in contact with energies that genuinely don't want anything from you, but to see you at peace with things will break a spell. But people don't believe that if if you've been around constant judgment, constant, constant, constant judgment. Constant this right here. People standing around knowing that you're hurting, knowing that things have happened, 
you know, to you. People have talked negatively about you. You're trying to process thoughts, and they just stand in there with a fan in their hand, you know, like, okay, well, they, they'll get through this. Somebody survived that. So congratulations to you for the spell being broken and you moving on, right? Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles, and we also have the Princess of Cups. Looking at your cards here, um, there are some people who come across your path for a very short period of time, looking at your cards here, um, to help you to break that spell because now you're forced to deal with whatever your demons are, right? And, and really get locked in and laser focused on what your purpose is. That's why I said, and I've said it before in other readings, and I'll say it again here, Libra, don't get caught up when things are over. Look at it as, okay, this is a rebirth. Something really opened my eyes to something. Remember, people who are already operating in their purpose only want to see you shine, even if it's for a short period of time in your life, and then move on. As long as your star is brightened, then everybody can bright up this, brighten up that sky. So I definitely see somebody definitely getting ready for a new life where you're not, you know, sitting around just kind of um, learning how to do things that really nurture your spirit is what I'm seeing. Here we also have the four of pentacles. Yeah, four of pentacles. All right, let's see. So four of pentacles would be like you just saying, okay, that was an experience here on earth. You know, I'm still a divine being of light who's had a human experience, whatever that human experience was. And so I can now move on and continue nurturing my spirit the way that I know I need my spirit to be nurtured. So let me see what else is going on here. Yeah, the enemy is very tricky because the enemy will make you hate human beings when source is saying they are divine beings of light who's having a human experience just like you are. Um, and so source allowed them to come across your path to test to see if you're really ready to move on from something. And the enemy is all in that, in that operating and that calls you to operate in the flesh. And that's where the temptation comes in. The temptation to see people know how hard I've been and they just stand around. They just let me hurt. And that's where the judgment comes in, you know. Hmm. King of Cups. Here we also have the Everything is Fine, Three of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the Judgment card again, and also the Fool card. Yep, Judgment card again. Let me see. Yeah, because the enemy wants to tempt you to harshly judge other people, but Source is saying keep your vibrations high. Um, keep your vibrations high, Libra. I see you definitely moving on from something, you know, and uh, which is great. And here we have the three and seven of swords again. Uh, let me see. I thought I said, yeah, so ten of swords came out twice. Somebody has definitely gone through a lot in their lives. And so it's really you move on from that. Like, really start the process of nurturing yourselves. This is says everything is fine. So, yeah, you, you've definitely moved on from a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. Um, and you're learning how to use your powerful sword, your sword of truth. Right. And just seeing what you just like really look, looking back at what you may have been carrying for a long time. Somebody's been definitely carrying a lot of judgment and uh, something is over. Something is over. This is uh, Scorpio's one of Scorpio's ruling planets, Pluto. Like I said, it's going to be a year of purging. And the sooner you can move on from things like soon as you can look at the rebirth side. And not out of pain, but just out of lessons, right? Okay, what was this supposed to teach me? What lesson was this supposed to teach you? And I need to move on from something. The, the better off you'll be tapping into your strength and recognize that the devil was always there. But a devil is not a person. And see, that's the problem that people say, oh, that was the devil. I was married to the devil. That was a devil. That friend, you know, that friend was a devil. That's always looking outside of yourself instead of looking at the flesh. What was the flesh? What, what? was the purpose that source sent something across your sent a person place a thing across your path what was the lesson you were supposed to learn about self and that's what it boils down to that is what it boils down to all right so yeah so somebody feels changed liberated and free from any kind of spell work that was put on you you know so that's a that's always a good thing. That's always a good thing that um, you feel changed, liberated, and free. But you're fine. Here we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Justice card, the Tower card, the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and also the Three of Swords. 
justice card. Here's your card right here. Yeah. Yeah, somebody has definitely learned how to um, release some things off of your scales, any harsh judgment, you know, off of your scales and um, move on from disappointment, you know, move on. So somebody could be taking a flight somewhere, which is good, right? So congratulations that you're taking a flight somewhere. Um, here we also have the five of wands. So these um, pesky little... Um, Demons will try to come up, rear its ugly head. This is like a David and Goliath situation. Let me see if you can see it on this card. See this card right here, like this big energy right here. And this, you feel small, and sometimes you feel small in the face of your demons, right? And it may tempt you to judge energies and just be that angry and upset, the disappointment, you know, of something. But so it's the same, but you're also having a tower moment. So you have to decide where you want to put your energy. These two, let me see. Um, death and tower card. I'm sorry, the, uh, Pluto and, and Mars, Pluto and Mars rules Scorpio, right? And so now after something has ended, you have to decide where you want to put your energy, right? Because the tower could fall either way, right? The tower could fall either way. And the six of pentacles, you're definitely not looking for people's, um, approval. That's first and foremost, because I mean, no human being is your God, but somebody is definitely thinking about legacy, wealth, and financial independence. So that's what you want to focus on, your financial independence and your legacy. Who do you want to build a legacy with? It's certainly not with energies that harshly judge you, but also you got to make sure that are they harshly judging you or are you harshly judging yourself, right? So that's what I'm saying. So I definitely see um, someone balancing out things, you know, balancing out your highest and your lower self. This is the eighth card in tarot. And, and so this is what you said. I need to get locked in and laser focused. I'm smart. Obviously you all are incredibly intelligent. You know that, but I don't want to carry things on my internal skills. I don't want to, I need to release other people's demons off of my internal skills. And that would be like from su Sunday's reading from, from your past, like other, you, are you still carrying things moving forward? And, um, and, um, expecting other people, you know, to carry those things as well. So yeah, you're not looking for anybody's approval. You already have approval from God. So what do you need another human being's approval for? They didn't, they're not your creator. I mean, even if your parents, they are, they co-created, you know, but they are not God, right? So that's what I'm saying for you all. So like I said before, you don't need, you don't have to overthink something. If the sooner you can move on from something, the better off you'll be. And that's, that is real. I mean, the sooner you can move on from something and say, okay, source, what was the lesson I was supposed to learn in all of this? Okay. Got the lesson. Okay. You know, staying on my throne, king of swords energy, not stepping down off the king of my emotions, king of swords and king of my emotions. So king of my thoughts and king of my emotions. I'm not, if unless I'm helping someone to adjust their crown, I'm certainly not trying to tear anybody down. So that's the frequency that you're on. So congratulations to you. Let us see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Yeah, it looks like, you know, sometimes when people feel like their heart is broken and they're deeply disappointed and that anger and frustration comes out. You know, people retaliate or people feel like, um, people feel like that's what sources say and put the energy, you gotta, you have to really raise your frequency to see that vengeance is not, is not yours. People say it all the time, but in the moment of deep disappointment and heartbreak, sometimes people don't realize that they're going through a rite of passage. Yeah. Sometimes people don't realize they're going through a rite of passage. So sources saying, see these two swords right here? move on from something because this is I know this this is one card but on some cards there's a full moon in the background you can see the sun is out but you know we know the sun illuminates the moon right we're talking about the color here just like an orangish yellow so it actually exposes your emotions about people places and things and when it looks like you're exposes your emotions when you feel like you're harshly judged it just like hits you like a tower moment okay that's something I need to work on I need to get myself delivered from humans 
human beings um, opinions of me and so somebody is definitely moving on from it looks like you and somebody may be moving on from some level of disappointment but again putting your focus back on your purpose and not saying anything negative about anybody is actually going to help somebody heal and move on in love and not you know close out cycles in love and not um, in pain here we have um, and, and hate excuse me 27 I am expressive. Your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate towards all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and you want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, or the world at large. Yeah. Or the world at large. Or the world at large. The world at large. Let's close it out. So you, anyway, you have all of the you have all of the questions for the moon in Virgo. The moon in Virgo. Yeah, so when it moves through Virgo, that that uh, Earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I thought I saw, no, Taurus's card was in the other one. Yeah, you and Taurus actually share, share Venus. So I am the creator of my future. That's it. I am the creator of my future. I am the creator of my future. Somebody has definitely, so, so this, um, this death card came out in, in your previous reading and it's coming out here again, right? So I definitely feel like you have loved ones. You have a lot of ancestors around you, but you definitely have some loved ones that are definitely proud of you for moving on. Um, and recognizing a spell has been broken. It's like a, it's like family members saying the same thing to you over and over and over again, like putting a spell on you, like a cover up or something, right? And you, in your mind, trying to make it make sense, right? But in, in the meantime, you feel like you're just about to burst out, right? Um, you know, like like this the saying that people say, a lot of families say, what goes on in the house stays in the house, right? But it's actually crushing people. So, source is saying a spell has definitely been broken, and your ancestors are very, very proud of you for that spell being broken, but also take it to the deeper, the, the, a deeper level in source, Most High God, and saying, okay, thank you for allowing something to come through so that I could, um, I can, I can see all of this, the lesson, right? I can see all of this change of mindset. Changing a mindset, changing a mindset. All right, so let's um, get a few more cards and we're going to close it out. A few more cards and we're going to close it out. Limitless. I think there's a movie called Limitless. Really good movie. With, um, what's the name of the actor? He's really good too. I can see his face. Uh, Brad. I'll have to look it up. But anyway, there's a movie called Limitless. It's really, really good. Anyway, so see yourself open to receive in the most miraculous ways. The divine can use anything and anyone. I'm trying to tell you, a lot of times people are like so caught up in the hurt that they don't see the message. You know, they don't see the, the purpose in the pain. But your ancestors are so proud of you and a loved one, one loved one in particular. Um, actually, it's two loved ones in particular. is basically really encouraging you to die to self. You know, die to ego, die to those things of like, okay, I'm so hurt and I'm so angry. You know, it's, it's um, yeah, they're, they're very proud of you. Whoever these two energies are, they're very, very proud of you for moving on, you know, from something and, and getting the message. And just so we're clear, you are divinely protected in this. Anybody that you think is going to try to use it, I feel like somebody may have come across an energy that would never use anything against you to hurt you, and it's not out of fear at all. It's out of just recognizing truly how karma works. So, um, yeah, I feel like somebody may have come across an energy that would never use anything to hurt you. So here we have earth worship. Until my body is in your arms, I will worship you, dear mother of mine. And we're talking about Mother Earth, not necessarily worshiping your the title mother of the you know on you know like a, a physical human body, but like Mother Earth, you know the divine feminine within yourself. Um, that's it. That is it. That is it, and that is all. I love this for you all, Libras, and like I said, I'm also speaking to the Libra in me as well. So. 
she apologizes for betraying you. So whoever this energy is right here, whoever this energy is right here, when you were going through so much pain and they stood around and watched you go through this much pain, this spirit apologizes for betraying you. This is this energy right here. It's not even by coincidence that this particular card came out, but somebody apologized for betraying you. So that lets me know that it could be, you know what, I'm, it, it, this this reading, when I look at it, when I really allow myself to go back just in, through a spirit, um, just back through, just it's, it's really dark with all the pain that somebody has gone through. And this right here is very dark. This is right here. So you all can look at it and kind of sort of, a lot of you all are, uh, you know, getting downloads and things now, but... Sometimes people on earth, when they're still alive, who have, have been, who stood around and witnessed this much pain, they may not say it out of their mouth, but their spirit is just steadily grieving. And they apologize in the spirit. You're, you may say, well, why don't they just tell me? Why don't they just apologize? Could it really take away all the pain? You know what I'm saying, Libra? So um, whoever it was, a spell has been broken. So I feel like somebody is definitely moving on in love and and you are you're being applauded um by your you know by your uh, loved ones on the other side um uh, for keeping your focus on you know keeping your focus moving forward on your purpose that's what i have for you all i will see you all on midweek wednesday again happy motivational monday so i don't know if, if it if it's worth it to somebody somebody apologizes for betraying you because somebody betrayed you in the worst way you know, to, to see somebody go through this much pain and, and just, I mean, just stand around. I mean, come on now for real, like really that mm. anyway, um, I will see, I will see you all on, um, I will see you all on midweek Wednesday. All right. Bye.